generally with buildings, I like to approach the sort of surface almost like a design brief. Like I have a look at the building and try to find sort of the nuances and the weirdness within the actual structure of the building and try and play off that. Often with these big walls, you know, if, it, if it's something in another country and you don't have the opportunity to actually stand underneath the wall, it can be quite sort of daunting. You have like something in mind from a picture. Generally when you get there, it turns out to be twice as big as you imagined, even though, you know, you've been given the dimensions or whatever. But in my mind, I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, this is gonna take two or three days or four days or whatever. I like to keep my designs quite open and then you have like a little bit of room for sort of play and changing things, colours, forms. At a certain point I think if you create something to its final level before you painted it, you're just painting by numbers and you don't give yourself like an opportunity for surprise to create something that fits better with like the positioning of the building or the surroundings. I guess the first few days are really just sort of getting the sketch up and, and working as hard as you can to fill most of the areas. And you sort of go through a process of it being almost like a craft rather than creating art. You're literally just doing decorating work and filling. I mean, it's, it's fun, but it can also be quite sort of taxing on the body and a little bit tiring. You have this sort of mental game in your head, knowing how much time you have to finish the piece and sort of the amount of work you're putting in. And some days you'll have like really great days where you get to do bits that you really enjoy the way it's working and you'll have like real energy for painting and then other days you know you can see what's left to do and like huge expanses of clear space at certain points you you can find it frustrating and like it can really take it out of you mentally so it's a little bit of a back and forth between loving it and hating it but i think this is a natural thing It's not how I imagined it looking, but not in a negative way. It's like a nice surprise to me, the outcome, because the colours look completely different to how I chose. There's certain forms which I added halfway through the process. I guess as much as I want to sort of move from classic lettering graffiti it's the one thing that I love more than anything like painting my five letters which is you know kind of childish in a way but I've done it for so long now 25 years and it's still the one thing that really drives me and I find the most inspiration and the most sort of freedom to kind of progress in whatever way I want.